Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be here on a nice sunny day right here in Bonnie, Scotland. Sunny day in Bonnie, Scotland. It's not often you hear those uh, words put together in a sentence, but today is nice. It's a summary. The sun's out. The what? The sun. Oh, right, the sun. <laughs> How you doing? It's good to see you, good to be back here. Right, um, I'm looking forward to today's shave. Some new products to try. Uh, some things I've used before, uh, but I just want to use them again um, because I enjoy using them so much. Right, let me show you the soap first. Um, this was sent to me very kindly by Frank at Strike Gold Shave, uh, and it's this. If that's gonna just, there we go. Uh, Honest Ape. Special edition, special edition quality shave soap. Now this is a new formula from Strike Gold Shave. Uh, Strike Gold Shave, in case you didn't know, all their soaps are named after presidents of the USA. Uh, this one was a special edition that was released on the 4th of July, um, Independence Day in the States. Uh, very patriotic label, very nice. Uh, but it was sold out, but they're making it again because it was so uh, in demand, so they're making it, and I think it's going to, if you pre-order it now, it's going to ship out on, I think it's something like the 20th of July, so uh, a couple of weeks yet, so you have time to order it. So there it is there, Abraham Lincoln, Honest Abe, uh, there he is there. He was the 16th president of the USA. Right, here's the soap. There it is there. Beautiful scent. It's based on... Uh, Thierry Mugler Ultra Zest, which I don't think you could get anymore. Uh, let me put a picture of that up on the screen for you right now so you can see what it looks like. So that's Ultra Zest. Now, this soap is based on that scent. Uh, the notes are tangerine, blood orange, uh, patchouli, coffee, spices, vanilla with hints of ginger and mint. Yeah, it's a very nice um, citrusy scent. Uh, that's most of what I get from it. Citrus, very nice. So that's the soap. Um, the brush is the DS Cosmetic, the new Kebby Shaves brush. Uh, you can see my name on the bottom there. Yeah, this is the, the latest one from them with the tuxedo style knot. Uh, I love this handle with the little grooves for your fingers. Flutes, I believe they're called. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, yeah, flutes. Not that you'll get a tune out of this. You might be able to. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> What's going on? Right, so that's the brush. I like that brush. It's uh, just like myself, nice and colourful and a little bit different. So there it is there. Very good. The razor, let me show you that. Executive Shaving, The Outlaw. Um, yeah, I've used this razor a couple of times. There's their logo on the bottom there. Uh, all very nicely made, stainless steel, beautiful razor, beautiful handle, great knurling, three piece. I'll take it apart and let you see the workmanship in this. Yeah, there is there. And it's, uh, it's etched on the bottom as well with their logo, Executive Shaving in Glasgow, Scotland. Right, the blade I'm going to be putting in that is a new blade for me. I've never used one of these before. Uh, I was sent them by Richard. Richard let me borrow his Razor Rock Hawk razors and he sent me these blades. These are Asco blades. They're made by Lord in Egypt. Uh, there's the back there, super stainless blade. So I'm going to be using one of those. So that was the packet, here's the blade. Right, let's uh, load the razor up. I'm sure I've used a a Lord blade before, but I can't remember what, it's, what it was like. Very nice blade, very nice, very clean. Look at that. Look how clean that looks. Well, it should be clean, shouldn't it? I don't, I mean, I don't want to use a dirty blade that's came out. <laughs> this came out of the pocket. I don't know why I said that, but it just looks nice. It looks, it looks well made, the printing and stuff like that on it. Right, I'll put this together. And again, my little plastic washer. Why do you use these plastic washers, people ask me. Well, this is an expensive razor, uh, and once the handle's screwed on, it just protects the, the head from getting marked from the handle. 
no overhang on this razor, excellent, very very nice, all nicely lined up, yeah a great razor, the Outlaw Executive Shaving. So that's the soap blade razor brush, right let's uh, wet the old noggin. I don't know why I wet my face first and then I lather the soap. Why don't I lather the soap first, then wet my face? I don't know. Because by the time I lather the soap, this will probably be dry. Shut up and get on with it. Right, let me wet the brush. Just give it a, a little squeeze and we'll just go right into this soap. Yeah, so this is a new, I'll put the ingredients up of the soap in the description right now. So there's the description and the ingredients. Yeah, it's a tallow with uh, goat's milk. So I'm expecting it to be thirsty. Yeah, it's a really nice, really, really nice scent. Uh, citrusy. Nice. Right, I'm gonna. Right, I've already wet my face, but I'll just take what's in this tub here and apply that. No sense in this uh, lather good waste look. There's lots of lather around the around the side of the tub there, so yeah, don't waste it. This is like your uh, pre-shave. You probably shave with that. <laughs> right, let me just uh, clean out that tub with the water. So that's all cleaned out, I'll just sit that like that upside down. Right, let's go with this brush now. How is life treating you? Well, I hope. I hope life is treating you well and um, you're starting to enjoy the little things that you couldn't do due to coronavirus. Just add some water to the brush. Yeah, those of you that know um, me, that have watched this channel for a while, you'll know how I like to lather for quite a while, just build the lather, add water, make it work so it's nice and slick. If there's anyone watching for the first time, recently subscribed, nothing to do with me having a giveaway of course. <laughs> um, yeah, I like to uh, build my lathers on my face. Just do that, make sure it's hydrated enough. For me, it um, adds to the pleasure of shaving, of a shave. Just creating this lather on the face or in a bowl. Right, so this is a new formula from a Strike Gold Shave, so it feels um, feels a little bit more dense, it feels a little bit more creamy. 
to me. Really good. Look at that brush. Yeah, nice shine on it as well. Right. Let's get cleaned up a little bit. Right. So honest Abe, let's talk about Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, what did I say? He was the, the 16th president from 1861 to 1865. Right, let's go with the outlaw from executive shaving with the Asco blade. Right, the last time I used this razor, I think it was like two passes and it was almost <laughs> BBS. I'll tell you what, that feels more like it. Nice blade in that. Is that the feedback? Yeah, and uh, no overhang on this, so you don't have to worry going around your ears and nose. Yeah, that blade feels nice, nice and comfortable. So the uh, scent strength on the soap, out of the tub I would say is about a five, lathered up is about a six or seven. Really nice, citrusy. Nice uh, citrusy scent. Yeah, what a great way to uh, release a soap. Um, Abraham Lincoln, on the 4th of July. Very uh, patriotic. Yeah, good slickness. Good slickness. Yeah, I think the scent this is based on, let us say it was Ultra Zest. I think it's been discontinued or it's very hard to come by. Right, first pass done. Let's have a little feel. Very good. Nice. Okay, let me rinse. I'll come back for the second pass. Okay, that's that rinsed off. Let's go back to this brush. Look at that. Caked with soap. Yeah, and don't forget, uh, if you're buying anything from Executive Shaving, this razor or anything else, um, if you use the code at checkout, KEVY5, I'll put that on the screen right now, use that code, you'll get 5% off your uh, total bill before shipping. Uh, you'll still have to pay, ex well, you'll pay, pay for the shipping, but uh, whatever you buy will be 5% off using KEVY5. So use that code if you're buying anything from Executive Shaving, this razor or anything else. Okay, let's go pass number two with Honest Abe uh, from Stripe Gold Shave.
Yeah, I love how um, straight gold shave. Do that with their soaps. They name it after presidents. I couldn't imagine them doing that here with uh, some of the uh, prime ministers that we've had over the years in the UK. <laughs> Yeah, so Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States. As I say, he was born in 1809. Uh, he was president from 1861 to 1865. And he was assassinated, that's how he died. He went to a Ford's Theatre in Washington to see a play called Our American Cousin. He went to see a play and uh, it was in his presidential box and a man called John Wilkes Booth sneaked into the box, crept up behind him and shot him in the back of the head and uh, killed him. And uh, he died the next day, the president. So, um, a bit of a an unfortunate demise, oh, terrible demise actually, getting shot at the theatre, in the back of the head, terrible, terrible, terrible. Right, second pass done. Right, <laughs> this razor is meant to be two passes and you're done, that's nearly the BBS. I'm going to go for a third, why not? Uh, let me rinse, I'll come back for that. Okay, that's that rinsed off. Let's go back to this brush, I'm just going to dip under the tap there. So you want to take some more water? Yes, and it will. Yeah, it feels um, it feels creamier than their their last uh, soap base, which was great as well. But this one feels um, just a, a little bit up in terms of performance. I think uh, Frank's soaps are made by Jennifer Martin. So, very good. Very good soaps. Yeah, when I was... Um, when I was putting the shave together, I like to do like little notes. Just I like to read up on stuff. Uh, so I was reading about Abraham Lincoln. He was six foot four, six foot four, a big big man, very tall. Um, yeah, and he's on the five dollar five dollar bill. Uh, so if you've got a five dollar bill, Lincoln's uh, face is on that. I couldn't see that happening here. I mean, our bills have some people, but always on one side they have the Queen. Uh, I, I think she'd be a bit. Pissed off if that we're not going to put you on the uh, the new ten pound note, Your Majesty. What? Why ever not? Uh, we're going to put Kerry shaves. <laughs> Who? <laughs> some lunatic in Scotland that's uh, always complaining about the weather and shaves and talks to some guy over there. No, yeah. have him locked up. Okay, Your Majesty. <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably how we would go. Right, third pass. I thought my impersonation of the Queen there was spot on. <laughs> and if you're watching, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, if you're watching, Your Majesty, I bid a good day to you, Mom. Yeah, I'm sure she watches for the, the tips, the shaving tips. I 
thanks to all of you that have uh, entered for the the 10,000 giveaway, the appreciation, 10,000 subs. Not only now, a few more days left until the draw takes place. Oh, it's get exciting. A couple of little dots here, but um, you probably can't see them because they're very, very faint. Yeah, this is one um, smooth razor. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really nice. Great weight to it. Knurling on the handle is superb. Look at that. Yeah, just beautifully made. Really nice. Excellent. Right, three passes done. Well, that is uh, slick soap. Very good. Right, let me have a quick rinse. Let's see if there's anything, <laughs> anything needing picked up. Right, the usual spot down here. Everywhere else feels great. Just down this jawline. Yeah, you should be able to hear that. I see just these little hairs that are a little stubborn buggers. Yeah, you can hear it there, look. It's always on this joint. On the neck, especially on this little bit here, that feels good now. I tell you that. One tiny bit there. Excellent, really nice. Okay, a quick rinse and uh, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Let's uh, see how much lather's left in this brush. Very good. Right, face wash time with this beautiful scent. Nice, summery, citrusy scent from Strike Gold Shave. Right, I'll rub this in, I'll clean up my gear, I'll rinse this off with hot and cold water and I'll see you for the post shave. I've got a nice surprise for the post shave. And you'll probably get a laugh. Let me try and pronounce something. Right, see you soon. Nice shave, really, really close. Skin feels really good. Yeah, nice and silky. Okay, let me show you the new aftershave splash that I'm gonna be using. Uh, this is a new one from Executive Shaving. Uh, here it is here. Right, before I try to pronounce that, I'll tell you that this is Scots Gaelic for Outlaw. So the same as the razor. 
uh, citrus and bergamot scented. It's a citrus bergamot with mild woody undertones. Here are the ingredients, some people like to see that. Um, around here tells you more about it. Um, paraben free, not tested on animals. Suitable for all skin types, made in Great Britain. Executive shaving, so here it is here. Yeah, nice little bottle. Right, let me try and pronounce this. Dune Fun Choil. Dune Fun Choil. <laughs> I don't know if that's right. I tried to look it up, but I couldn't find um, any pronunciation of it. So, Dune Fun Choil. I'm good for that. Right, let's have a... It's Scots Gaelic for Outlaw. Right, nice little top here. Nice uh, restrictor on the bottle. And I think this can be... I think, I think this can be um, shipped abroad. I'm not 100% sure. Right, a nice big splash of that there. Ooh. Wow, that is a strong scent. Yeah, citrus bergamot, and it's dried in. Yeah, with uh, I can get some woody woody um, notes underneath, but citrus and bergamot, very nice, very refreshing. Yeah, just uh, get the top off the top there. Yeah, there's a little bit of burn from it, so um, it does say denatured alcohol. Um, but nice and clear, look, you can see it. Yep, very nice, 100 mils. Yeah, so, Dion Fon Choil. <laughs> Apologies to anyone from uh, the, the Western Isles and stuff in Scotland that, that speak Gaelic. Dion Fon Choil. It's probably like nothing else like that. But anyway, good stuff. Yeah, really nice scent. Um, it's different from the soap, I thought it would be kind of citrusy, and it is, there is a little bit of citrus there. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's coming through now. It's um, it's got like there's woody underneath it. It's nice. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah, it dries in really quick. There we go. Right, uh, finish it off. Just a touch of this EAD pore shave balm. Just to put the moisture back in to my skin. Just that much. Yeah, this is kind of light. Kind of like Nivea scented, but just a little bit of balm there. So there's the shave. What do you think? Pretty good, eh? Pretty good. Feels good. Feels good. No drama, no issues. Excellent. Good products, that's what it is. It's uh, good products. Right, let me show you the soap. Everything I've used today, but the soap first. Strike Gold Shave, Honest Abe, Special Edition. Quality shave soap. There it is there. Uh, good old Abe at the side there. Yeah, I think this has been, um, more of this has been made. It was limited edition, but he is making more. Frank's making more, so have a look at the website. I'll put links for everything, uh, and you can check it out. Easy to lather, a new formula, tallow and goat's milk. There it is, all cleaned out. Easy to lather, three passes, enough on the brush. Uh, slick, glide, cushion. Everything was there, and a really, really nice scent. Uh, a nice, fresh, citrusy scent uh, based on Ultra Zest from Thierry Mugler. Right, razor, fantastic. Executive shaving, outlaw. Yeah, really nice. Well made, no overhang, beautiful. Very smooth, I really like it. Great weight tech, great balance, knurling on the handle. It's all good, all good. Uh, the brush, DS Cosmetic, the new Kevy Shaves brush. There's the Kevy Shaves on the bottom with the DS Cosmetic. Yeah, new brush for the uh, summer 2020 with the flute. <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, can you see the, the little flutes in the handle? Right enough. Right, yeah, tuxedo knot, very good, nice and soft. I like the length of this handle, but it's, uh, it's I've got quite a big mitt, so it's uh, nice to hold. Yeah, uh, oh, the blade, let me show you the blade what that was in the Outlaw Razor. Asco, a new blade for me, trying them for the first time. Uh, always a bit nervous when trying a blade, but in that razor, felt very smooth, not too sharp, just nice and smooth, 
uh, give me a good shave, three passes and pickups, no problem at all. Uh, right, well, we took the leftover lather, washed it on the face, had a face wash, left it on, cleaned up my gear. Uh, post shave was Dion Fon Choil. Dion Fon Choil. Dion Fon Choil. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that just like 20 different ways. Dion Fon Choil. Dion Fon Choil. Fons Fon Stoll. Fons Fon Stoll. Aftershave. Yeah, aftershave. Dion Fon Aftershave. <laughs> From Executive Shaving. Good stuff. Really, really good. Nice scent. Dries in quick. Um, yeah, what's not to like? Again, links to everything and use the code KEVY5 if you're buying anything and you'll get 5% off your bill uh, before shipping. So please do that, please do that because it'll help you uh, to get money off. Right, and finish it off with EAD post shave balm. Right, that's the shave done. Way everyone celebrated. Every day. Thank God that's finished. Yay! We can get on with our lives again. Sorry. <laughs> Right, oh look, one little dot there. That's okay, looks good, looks good. I'm happy with that, very good. Actually, I'm thinking about these haircuts and I was thinking, should I go back to the barber? I mean, I'm quite pleased with the way Mrs. Kevy's doing it and it's gonna save me, I worked out I get about 10 haircuts a year, at something like 10 pound a shot. Uh, so there's a hundred pound to spend on shave gear. Ah, there's method in the madness. I mean, I might look like a, a convict that's just escaped prison, but. <laughs> <laughs> one of Mrs. Kevy's haircuts, but hey, I can buy more shave gear, right? It's got to be a good thing, yeah? <laughs> right, okay. Uh, I'm going to go for now. And, uh, yeah, the next video will probably be the uh, the draw for the, the giveaway. Uh, thank you so much again for, for all the comments. Um, people saying I'm in and uh, some people saying they're not in, but just leaving a comment congratulating me. Congra congratulating me. So, um, I'm very grateful for that, for um, yeah, anyone that leaves a comment, I'm always grateful for. I try and answer them and uh, yeah, I just really enjoy interacting with like-minded people, which is you and 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 you the back. Yep, yeah, you're still there, that's good. Okay, I will see you in the next video. Uh, enjoy the rest of this week and enjoy your weekend and I'll see you soon. Stay safe, take care, I love you all.